I have people reaching out to me on a pretty regular basis asking me where they should live in the Bay Area and can they afford to buy a home in the Bay Area. So I've put together some tips that I think will generally help most people. Everyone's situation is different, but these tips pretty much apply to everyone. My first tip will be what not to do if you're trying to figure out if you can afford to buy a home in the Bay Area. And I think I'll start with that one because most of you have already probably done this and I think it's a big no-no. And that is checking Zillow or relying on information in Zillow to figure out if you can afford to buy here. One of the key things that's missing is how much homes will actually sell for. There are so many reasons why the Zestimate can be way off. For example, in Walnut Creek, Zillow doesn't fully understand that you have multiple school districts within Walnut Creek and that can affect property prices. There could be a giant electrical transformer right next to the house that's not shown in the list pictures and most importantly there's no way for Zillow to predict what a home will actually sell for there's really no mathematical equation around here on how much over the list price homes sell for it can be 3% over the list price or 30% over the list price and every once in a while a home is priced too high and the home will sell under the list price so Zillow is not going to be able to give you this key piece of information and that is what are homes actually selling for if you want other websites to do home searches on where they're not going to sell your personal information you can use your realtor's website mine if it's in northern california i will never sell your personal information i literally wouldn't know how to sell your personal information so that brings me to point number two which is really work with a local realtor you can work with me if it's in my area i can connect you with people around northern california and you want someone who can tell you in the city or town or this particular area what you're looking for is actually gonna cost you X. I don't talk about that to try to scare you off, but the reality is the Bay Area is one of the most expensive parts of the country. You can watch this if you wanna see if I think it's still worth it, but it is one of the most expensive parts of the country. Your investment is gonna make money over time, but getting into Bay Area real estate is painful and it's gonna cost you. So that brings me to tip number three, I think we're on three, and that is to talk to a local lender. And I'm not gonna get into how much income you need and the debt to income ratio. That you can talk to a lender because I don't know what your budget is, I don't know what price point you're looking at or your credit scores or what the interest rate's gonna be on the day you talk to the lender. But a little later on, I will give you some different ideas about what homes can cost around the Bay. And the local lender can work with you to understand what you would qualify for and talk to you about a down payment. So a note on down payments, absolutely, you can buy a home with less than 20% down. There's all kinds of programs that make that affordable and manageable. However, just be aware that in a competitive area like the Bay Area, you're gonna find other buyers who have a larger down payment. And if you're in a bidding war against them, they may have an advantage with a larger down payment. There's also plenty of buyers who have cash. I just wanna throw that out there. And again, this is not to discourage you, it's just to lay out some of the facts so you really understand Bay Area real estate. Tip number four is about location and affordability. The Bay Area is a big place with a lot of different cities and neighborhoods, so I can't really generalize and tell you a house costs $2 million because there's a huge range from 400,000 to $40 million. So. Based on where you need to live on because of your commute or your kids need to go to a specific school or other things about your lifestyle and budget, once you have a better idea of where you might want to live, and this video is a very brief overview of all the Bay Area counties, but it may help a little bit, you can kind of narrow it down. So here's a list of the median home price in all the Bay Area counties. You can see there's a big difference and also if you look at just the month or all last year, these numbers are definitely gonna change, but it gives you a sense that some areas are more expensive. And then within these counties, each city is gonna have its median home price. So take for example, in Contra Costa where I am, two cities that are probably only four miles apart. You have Concord and you have Lafayette and they're just a few miles apart. And look at the difference in the median home price. And even within those cities, there is a range of home prices. So yes, in Concord, you can buy a home for $100,000 and you can also find a home for over a million. But in Lafayette, even as you look at that median home price, you can already guess that I'm gonna tell you that there's no way you can buy a home for $600,000 in Lafayette. So the median home price does give you some helpful information if you're looking at median sold prices and not median list prices. Just for example, just a few days ago, a friend of mine met with me and said they were thinking about moving a couple cities south of here. And she was trying to figure out affordability and asked me if they should go to some open houses this weekend. 
And I said, it's a great idea to get to know the area better and to see what the architecture is and get a feel for those communities. But being in those open houses and just knowing the list price is gonna give you very limited information on what it actually costs to buy one of those homes. So I ended up giving her recent data on what homes are actually selling for because I think that's more helpful. Those are my tips for now. Feel free to contact me if I can help you narrow down what part of the Bay Area. For rentals, I don't really know rentals very well. I usually direct people to craigslist.org and apartments.com to get a better idea of rental prices. If you're thinking of buying and you think I can help direct you to a lender or an agent in another area or just need to bounce some ideas off of me, let me know. I'd be happy to help you. And until then, I will see you next time. Bye.